Okay, so let's tie it all back together. We started with a tourist shortcut through New York, using eight and six blocks to discover the diagonal. Then we explored tidy triples like six, eight, ten, and three, four, five, showing how builders and architects relied on them centuries ago. And finally, we looked at less neat numbers, where the diagonal came out as an irrational decimal. And yet, the theorem still worked perfectly. But Pythagoras isn't just about walking diagonals or drawing right angle triangles on paper. It's actually woven into the real world. Engineers use it when designing bridges and towers. Surveyors use it to divide land fairly. Astronomers use it to calculate distances between planets and stars. Even your phone's GPS uses it constantly, triangulating your position from satellites orbiting Earth to tell you exactly where that cafe is. So next time you take a shortcut across a park or look up at a skyscraper, remember, you're seeing the silent work of a 2,500 year old discovery. It's a simple idea that takes the square of two sides, adds them together and unlocks the truth of the longest side. And maybe there's a life lesson in there too. Sometimes the direct path isn't obvious, but once you know the hidden connection, you can move more efficiently, see more clearly, and get to your destination with greater confidence. And that's the timeless gift of Pythagoras. Not just maths for exams, but a way of seeing the hidden shortcuts that hold our world together.